Good afternoon people, PJT in case you don't know, most of you that are watching this video do, and the infamous M. <laughs> so, right, um, I've got a beer package this week, don't we? Yes. From Paul, uh, Paul Greenwood, not me. I couldn't send it to myself, well I could, I have done actually. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, some of, one of the beers, well actually there was two of this beauty, which is this one, obviously uh, Buxton, I've got a few issues at the moment, as you know. We've had some other Buxton's, but this one I've never actually had. Uh, no, I haven't tried this particular one before. Um, it's a double IPA, 8% um, ABV, so it's a, it's, it's a, it's a big hitter. Uh, we must have bloody noses and cracked cla crowns. I thought it said crowns there. <laughs> a juicy New England style double IPA with tropical fruit flavours coming from citra and mosaic hops. I think that's kind of a it's, bit of you, um, doesn't it? Yeah, it stands right up my street. I'm liking this more and more. So, yeah, unfortunately, we don't have the Buxton glass, do we? So, I'll let you yep, let's get give it a pour it. and see what we get. That's it. Um, there's some more reviews to come from some of the beers from Paul, which was absolutely yeah, great. Yeah, thank you, Paul. That's a lovely gesture to us, mate. I've been a subscriber on the channel for absolute ages, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, great bloke. One of the one of the Blue Moon Army. Congratulations on the win against Tottenham. So there we go. Look at that. Look this. at the colour of that. Here we there, go. That, that's smelling yep. good. <laughs> I could actually yeah. smell as you were pouring, pouring that and I thought, yeah. okay, I get it, I get it. There we go. Bingo. So yeah, I could actually smell that as it was pouring. As you can see, I loved it up. Yeah. Nice one finger quite thick. The head in it. Can you see that? It's got a lovely haziness to it, a nice peachy glow there. It, yeah. it really does look quite special, doesn't it? The fruit. And the aroma coming off this is it's just quite wow. immense, yeah. Yeah, you are getting a lot of fruit aroma from this. As you'd expect though. It's a it's a double IPA. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. You have all that fruit there. You can see the colour mm, of it. Soft stone fruit I'm picking up on. As soon as I picked one of them out of the box, I said, and the box was so well packed, nothing was going to go wrong with them. I picked one out of the box and I thought, I was going to be happy here. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, this has a wonderful smell. There's a little bit of pineiness in there. There's a nice hoppy smell to it. it. It smells of business, to be fair. Yeah, there's a lot of fruit in there. Go on then, in you go. You can see from it, can't you? And this is one of their biggies. Wow. Yeah. That's got a nice mild carbonation, a really velvety, smooth texture on the tongue. Really, really lovely God, the fruit blimey, yeah. in there. And for me, it's like soft stone fruit. Maybe a little bit of something citrusy. A citrusy, the... grapefruit, uh, mandarin. But what it is there is you get that little hop in this kick, but it's like, it's no way, 8% is like, the That's smoothness. so, so well hidden in this, yeah, it's it's velvety smooth, it's got a wonderful consistency. Um, as well as that hoppiness that you're getting on the end, which I have to admit, for a double IPA, isn't as banging as what I thought it was, would be. It's, it's quite mellow, isn't it? But you are it's getting a nice, me. dank pineiness in yeah, there as well, which is. I think is really settling and blending and just balancing off all those fruit flavours in there. And it is, as I say, the, the fruit is immense. It, it is absolutely wonderful. You can see though, you mm. trying to know from the colour, don't you, what was going oh, on there. Yeah. It really is a creaminess to this. It's just a total explosion of fruit. And like I say, I'm getting more grapefruit, but then I always have this thing with grapefruit. Because <laughs> people say, hey, where did you get that from? But I'm only telling you what, what I'm tasting, but it's it's just immense, the fruit. Yeah, As you said before, for me, it's, for me it, it's quite nice and soft stone fruit, uh, peaches and apricots, that kind of thing. There is something a little bit citrusy in there. I'm not going to go on the grapefruit that Paul is. Uh, it's possibly grapefruit. It, it, I can't really it, it's pick it out. With flavour though, isn't but it? But the flavours, wow. And I said after on the first sip, where's the eight percent? That's one no, of them that you that can just. That is one of those that can get you in trouble. There is no doubt about that. It is so 
so lost in that. It was, yeah. If someone said that's five percent, you're not going to know any different. And this is the problem I used to have with the sours. And whereas do you get into these? Well, I got into mm. the sours. You can just chug them back yeah. at like seven, eight percent. <laughs> you really just don't feel like you're drinking the drink yeah. of that strength. And the next thing you know, you're in trouble, and you're in big trouble because they're, they're dangerous. You know, if you drink too many. But yeah, King Slayer, I get it. I get that. That is definitely, definitely the kind of drink that you would only want to have a couple of in stock in your in your fridge because that is really mm. building. The flavours are building. They're becoming more pronounced. And it's, it's a grower. It really yeah. makes you want to go and sip more. It's the fruit sitting. Yeah. As you swallow, this, the fruit's sitting there and your, your palate's getting more and more thinking, well, hold on, I like this. Yeah, the complexity of this, the way the fruit flavours build up, you get that slight kind of pininess there. The slight hoppiness on the end, and then it all settles down, and then you're left with a really lovely aftertaste of fruit left in your mouth. Yeah, it is. And the fruit, the more of it is, well, I'm literally sipping it, the more of it that you, you're drinking, the more the fruit. I'm oh, just looking at how quick saying. it's going down between the two of us. Yeah, that's it's why it's good so having two on a review like this, because I tell you what, if you do two of these or three, two or three of these in a day, yeah. it'd be. You'd be like, yeah. you'd be like Simon is sometimes, <laughs> but you no names. It's no wonder when you're doing these big ones, especially because they're just so, so drinkable. There is just no way of telling the amount of alcohol that's in this. No, that's proper hidden. But it, it does happen so many times. And I've I've grown into, mm. um, I wouldn't, if go back two years, I, especially before YouTube, I wouldn't have, um, yeah. it was about two and a half years now we've done this all, I wouldn't have touched these. And then I just tried one by accident, and I thought, God, that's all right, you know. You're getting so much of that lovely fruity impact in there. And a lot of them, like you say, they do have the hints and notes of grapefruit and citrusy, as well as the other fruit flavours that you get in them. And it just makes them so drinkable. Yeah, that just sticks. And it's one of them that it, it wants you for more, mm -hmm. because you can taste it. It's definitely grapefruit, isn't it? I'm not... um, no, I'm getting a little bit of, like, a tangerine kind of yeah, taste on the end mandarin. there mandarin. yeah I'm, I'm picking up yeah. on something that like that kind of orangey kind of taste oh, it's absolutely end. lovely um really really good I, as i say i knew i looked at it and as i say i'd, I'd read the thing when yeah. i took it out of the box and i thought i know someone's going to love this one and what is there not to love about it i know a lot of people say uh, with these the ipas a lot of them are much for much now that's got an edge on a lot of them. Yeah, it has. has really it's so nicely balanced. It's you can so just still taste silky, it now. Velvety smooth, leaving that wonderful aftertaste. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. Definitely so. Um, what can I say? It's a definite yes. Mm. Will you drink it again? Yeah, he sent two. <laughs> well, actually, someone, I will, will. <laughs> so, someone will drink it again. I don't think I'll get a look in there. I'm going to do score on yeah, this. I get, I get, I get the concept that I won't get a, a look in there. With that, but then if it was something, this like is getting a whopping nine out of ten for me. It's I want an eight point five. I really, really do like that. The flavours in there, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, no, that that's been a pleasure. I say we've had some bucks and drinks beforehand, not for a little while. Um, I hope the company's all right. I don't know the full. It's been yeah, I, I don't. But know there's been a few really. issues um, with administration, and if it, but if they're delivering drinks like that, how can they not win? Yeah, I don't it's know. all good. I don't know. But that is, yeah, an absolute cracker. And I do thank Paul again. Yeah, cheers, Paul. See, got another one you like. Well, I know. I do right. like that. <laughs> what can I say? Bonjour. Bye.